Good day class. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, there are two things we're going to do. First is, we're going to learn how to set up your local web server on your computer. The other one is, you're going to identify tools needed in writing and running PHP scripts. We all know that PHP is one of the popular scripting language that you can use in building dynamic web pages. But before running PHP scripts on your computer, you're going to set up first your local web server. There are free and open source local web server that you can install on your computer. So some of these are the SAMP, the WAMP server, and the LAMP server. So the first local web server that we identified is that it composed of several uh, software. The first is we have the A here, which is your Apache, your local host web server later on. The M here will be the MySQL, wherein you can integrate MySQL to PHP and you have your PHP engine here and the last one is the PER. So WAP is a local web server intended for Windows operating system and for LAMP is for Linux platform. So first is we need to download some online so open your browser Then type on your address bar SAMP. Then click the first link. So as you can see here, the official website of SAMP is the ApacheFriends.org. So click the link. Then on the menu, on top, we have the download link here. So click. Then as you can see, SAMP are available for also for uh, other than Windows like Linux and of course OS X So since I'm using a window Windows operating system, so I need to click the download button here. So you just click Okay, then if you are going if you are using it, uh, an internet download manager any download manager on your computer then it will automatically uh, download your sum Okay, then just click start download to start the download. Okay, next here is once you download some, so you can now um, install it on your computer or device. So you just double click it and open. Or you can go to the download directory, then run it. So take note guys na hindi kayo pwedeng mag run ng PHP script kung wala kayong local web server. So kailangan natin ito para may run natin or may execute natin ang mga PHP scripts. Since ang mga PHP scripts ay client or ang PHP ay isang uh, server side scripting tool. So means to say, a server is needed to execute this. So when you when you open or install the sum ang unang lalabas dito ay isang warning message so you just click okay here then click next the next button and as you can see ito yung mga services or modules na meron kay sum so ang importante dito ay yung apache yung mysql and the rest pwede namang i-unclick na lang kung hindi kailangan so for this dem uh, tutorial or demonstration, we're going to uh, click all these modules, then click next. So, dito, uh, you you can install your SAMP or SAMP uh, sa kahit anong drive na meron sa inyong computer. But, the default will be on drive C and it will create a folder named as SAMP. So, in this tutorial, we're going to use the drive C, then inside this drive C we have the 
some folder here. So you just click next to begin the installation. So antay nyo lang matapos yung installation. Now after the installation, i-check nyo mabuti kung ito ay successfully po na naka-install. So paano ba i-check? So ang gagawin mo lang is you just go to uh, or open if file explorer then go to drive C since yun ang un nakita natin kanina na uh, directory kung saan niya uh, uh, in-install. So dito makikita nyo guys yung sump na folder. So means to say that you successfully installed the sump software. So pag open natin ng sump, makikita natin yung mga files, mga directories na importante okay dito. So, kung titignan ninyo, meron tayong sumpcontrol.exe kung saan ito ay gagamitin yung pang uh, launch later on dun sa control panel ng sump to start the services na kailangan mo like the Apache, the MySQL, and so on. Okay? So, so to open your sumpcontrol.exe, you just click this one. At kung titignan ninyo, ito yung control panel po ng ating SAMP. So, nandito yung mga modules or services okay, kung saan ito ay hindi pa sila activate. So, ang kailangan lang natin later on dito ay yung uh, patche which is ito ang magraran dun sa ating uh, PHP scripts. So, no need to activate MySQL here kasi hindi pa naman tayo mag-integrate uh, ng uh, MySQL database. Okay? To activate Apache later on, to begin executing your pitch script, so kailangan nyo lang i-click yung start button na ito. Okay, so that is how to set up and install your SAMP on your laptop or desktop. So the second one is, what are the other tools needed in writing your pitch script? Okay, of course, in run, writing the code of your pitch script, you need yung tinatawag natin mga code or text editors. So, there are a lot of free and uh, open source uh, free, open source na uh, mga code or text editors na pwede nyo gamitin. Okay? Like, for example, ay meron tayo yung dinamit natin last time, which is the Notepad++. Then, we choose or we use also other uh, text editors. Ginamit na natin ito ng ating nakaraang mga subjects. So, we have the Sublime Editor or Sublime Text text Editor. Meron bago, which is uh, ito yung pangalan. Meron tayo tinatawag na Visual Studio Code. Pwede nyo i-download ito and it's free. Okay? And marami pa pong iba na available okay, sa internet. And they are all uh, open source. So, hindi naman kailangan or pagandahan ng uh, text editors kung saan mo feel na gamitin or ano yung uh, comfortable ka. So, you can download it, download it and install on your computer. Okay. And the last tools na kailangan natin or tool na kailangan natin to write and of course, running your PHP script is your web browser. Okay? So, maraming web browsers na available also on the internet at saka open source din sila. Tapos, nandiyan yung ating Google Chrome. Okay? Meron yung Firefox natin. Okay? You can use the Edge if you want. But, I will recommend you guys to use the Google Chrome. So, ito yung recommend recommended na gagamitin nating web browser. Okay? So wrap up lang natin. So first is we already set up and installed your local web server and we use the sump here and the code editors okay to write your PHP scripts, of course your code in PHP. So we have several text editors here. So we have the Notepad Sublime Text, Visual Studio Code, and other. Then, we have also your web browser. Uh, install any of this web browser in your computer. And, of course, Google Chrome will be the recommended one. So, 
that's all for today and thank you for watching this video tutorial our next topic will be you are going to experience on how to write your first PHP script thank you and keep safe